Okay, here we go. We're going to find uh, this. We have this polynomial, and when I'm given an f of z, z implies for the IB that your solutions could be complex solutions. And I want to show that f at i is 0. So if I show it, I'm going to plug it in. I get i to the fourth minus 2i cubed plus z i squared minus 2i plus 5. Well, i squared times i squared is negative 1 times negative 1, so that's positive 1, plus 2i, because I know i squared is negative 1, so that changes this sign, minus 6, minus 2i, plus 5. And we can clearly see that these subtract away, 1 plus 5 is 6, subtract 6, and I get a final answer of 0. So I have shown that it is true. Next it says, hence find the remaining solutions of the equation. Well, I know that if z equals i is a solution, equals i is a solution, then I also know that z equal to negative i is a solution. And if I rewrite these, z minus unfactored form, I know I get z squared plus 1, because it's negative i squared. This is one factor. If I wish to find the other particular factors of this situation, the approach that I could do is I can divide z squared plus 1 by this scenario here. And so if I take z squared, I'm going to hold 0z plus 1, and I'm going to divide it into z to the fourth minus z squared, z cubed, sorry, plus 6z squared, 2z and 5, let's see what the signs are, minus 2z plus 5. If I do this division, I will get the next part of the function there. So if I take this then, I divide, I get z squared, and this is z to the fourth, 0z cubed, plus z squared. And then I come along and I subtract it. I get those cancel. I get minus 2z cubed plus 5z squared, pulling down the minus 2z. Multiply by it. 2z minus 2z cubed plus 0z squared minus 2z. And I'm going to then subtract them, which gives me 5z squared plus 0z. Pull down my 5 plus 5. And so when I multiply here, I get 5z squared plus 0z plus 5, which gives me a remainder of 0. And so this is my second factor of my quadratic. So z squared minus 2z plus 5. In order to find the solutions to this scenario, I could factor it if it factors, or I could use quadratic formula. In this case, I'm going to have to use quadratic formula since they're not I can see it doesn't factor nicely. So it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So 2 plus or minus 4 minus 20 is negative 16 over 2, which is 2 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is 1 plus or minus to i. And so, it, the question now says find the remaining solutions of the equation. Well, I know here are two of my solutions. Here are two more of my solutions. And there's the four. The fundamental theorem says there'll be four, and I have the four. And then it finally says write as a c part, says write as a product of quadratic factors. 
Well, I know this was one factor, and the second factor was this one here. And so it's z squared minus 2z plus 5. If I would multiply those two together, I would indeed get the original polynomial.